In this video, you're going to be learning how to do competitor keyword research with Ahrefs. This is a great way to figure out what content you need to produce for your website. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do competitor keyword research in Ahrefs. Um, this is a great way to figure out what content that you need to produce and uh, what your competitors are doing at the same time so you can formulate a plan to outrank them in the long run. So first I'm going to log into Ahrefs and then go to Site Explorer. And for this example, I'm just going to assume uh, we're looking at social media marketing terms. So we'll go under here and um, I'm just going to assume again that we don't have any, we don't know who our competitors are. So first I'm going to look up uh, how to get Instagram followers. Okay. So let's start taking a look at some of these. So Hootsuite has it. And I believe they're like a social media marketing platform, if I remember correctly. Um, Hopper, I know they're one. I'll just use three. I'll look at, I think it's Oberlo. I've heard of them before. Cool. So we're going to be taking a look at these three sites and finding keywords. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look first at Hootsuite. So I'm going to just grab this URL and then paste it in there under the site explorer. So as you can tell, the site has a URL of 89 and DR91. Uh, that's really, really powerful and they're getting about 1.6 million uh, organic traffic. And from Ahrefs, they said usually this number is two to three times that, so they're looking three to five million uh, visitors each month. So what we're looking at first is uh, organic keywords, just to take a look at what they're ranking for. And as you can see, right, some of their top words are Hootsuite, Hootsuite Login, Facebook Business Manager, Hootsuite Free, stuff like that. And that's gaining a lot of traffic volume. Now, one of the things that would be a waste of time is to try to rank for something with their name in it. So what we're gonna do is exclude anything, any keyword that has Hootsuite in it. So I'll go under here. I don't know why that's doing that oh my bad I didn't uncheck URLs so we'll put Hootsuite back in there and you'll see everything with Hootsuite in it is now gone now if you're taking a look at these keywords right a lot of these are really difficult to rank for 35 55 84 uh, 21 is not bad but a lot of these are incredibly difficult so next thing that we would want to do is go under here and filter by keyword difficulty. So we're going to go from 0 to 15 because those are moderately easy, difficult keywords to go after. So we'll do that. And then we're going to go under traffic and we're going to look at anything that gets over 250 searches. And we're not going to put 2 because, I mean, the more traffic we can get from our article, the better, as long as it fits with our brand. So out of everything that was there, right, this will show you all the easy keywords to go after. So old tweets, right, and they have an article about searching old tweets. We can take a look at that in a second. Snapchat hacks, which actually that'd be a really good article to write. Um, this would be a great keyword right here. Free social media management tools, if you're a social media marketing agency, right, or brand, this would be a good keyword to talk about. Tuesday hashtags, right? So if you're talking about hashtags for different days of the week, how to get more views on YouTube, Wednesday hashtag, social media proposal. I mean, there's a lot here that you can build content based around. So that's one way we can look at all their keywords and figure out uh, what articles to write. 
Um, the other way we can start doing that is looking under top pages and you can see exactly the different uh, keywords they have for each of the different pages and how much volume it has and what position they're at. So this isn't a great way to find keywords. I kind of prefer the other method, but if you're just going through all the different URLs of a site, let's say like a local business site or another one of your competitors that you want to compete at with a page by page basis, this is a good way to look at what content they're producing. So obviously you can tell with their homepage, right? They're ranking for the main keyword steps to create a Facebook business page, right? Facebook business account and just scrolling down here. I mean, they have so much content, right? They have 86 pages worth. So I'm not going to bore you guys through that, but that's one way um, how to take a look at it. Um, we're also going to just take a look at uh, Hopper real quick. So you guys can see it one more time, right? So method pretty easy. Go under site explorer. Let me grab that URL again. All right, look at their UR and DR. Not too bad. They're getting 207,000 traffic. Go under organic keywords. I'll let that load. Keyword difficulty, I'm just doing really easy keywords to rank for, so zero to 15. And then traffic starting at 250. And then you can see, look, you have uh, four potential keywords here. I would, Instagram hashtags for photographers, right? Really good keyword to use. Photography hashtags, right? Kind of the same thing there. So choose one or the other. Um, I don't know what uh, best nine 2017. Okay, so you don't want to use that. That's an outdated article, right? And then Instagram engagement groups, right? You can talk about that. So just using that right there, found another three uh, articles to talk about. And if you're struggling, right? If there's nothing showing up for 250, you can change it down to 100. I mean, it kind of depends on your niche and uh, how much traffic you want to get. But like if you go down 100, right? You can see how many more that shows up there. And then again, if you want to look at their top pages, right, based on traffic in general and see the different URLs and the top keywords, all you do is go under top pages. Cool. So that's it for this video. If you guys found some value, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what videos you want to see me cover in the future. Anyways, take care, guys. See you in the next video.